Hello students, uh, my name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for Machining Sciences and Tool Design. We are discussing module number 2 uh, that is temperatures in metal cutting uh, and cutting fluids. So in this uh, video we will discuss about temperature distribution in metal cutting. In the previous uh, video we have seen how the uh, heat uh, generation will happen uh, inside the metal. Uh, so that will help you to understand uh, how the temperature distribution is happening. So wherever the heat generation is happening, the temperature will uh, rise immediately to an higher value. So let us uh, assume a point X in the material uh, as in shown in the figure. So the point X uh, uh, which is moving toward the cutting tool. So an approach uh, cutting tool and it approaches and passes through the primary deformation zone. So this is the primary deformation zone as we know. So this zone is uh, primary deformation zone. So it approaches uh, primary deformation zone and it uh, passes uh, through the primary deformation zone. So it is heated until it leaves the zone. So until uh, it crosses this zone, the X particle uh, will be getting heated uh, because it is crossing the primary deformation zone where uh, uh, the shearing is happening. Uh, that is where uh, the heat is getting generated and uh, it is heat is carried away by the uh, carried away within the chip that is as a uh, x particle move along with the chip uh, so the heat is carried away by that so next we will consider uh, y particle so the material at uh, y so it passes through both uh, both deformation zone that is through primary deformation zone uh, and also through secondary deformation zone it is getting heated until uh, uh, it leaves the secondary deformation zone. So this is the point where it is getting heated and you can see the maximum temperature here is around 750. So the entire uh, uh, heat temperature distribution if you see the, this is the maximum temperature. So that is uh, a Y particle is achieving because of the chip tool interface. So then uh, as it passes uh, over the chip it is uh, cooled and it is conducted uh, into the body of the chip uh, and eventually ch chip achieves a uniform temperature throughout okay so once it uh, crosses this zone so there will be a cooling which is taking place because the heat is getting transferred into the body of the chip and then it achieves a uniform temperature throughout and then if you consider point uh, z uh, which remains in the workpiece so because this is the part of a workpiece so which remains in the workpiece is heated by the conduction of heat from the primary deformation zone so there is a conduction which is taking from uh, primary deformation zone so the z particle uh, will get heated by that some uh, heat is conducted from the secondary deformation zone into the body so some heat uh, is conducted uh, from a secondary deformation zone into the body so as shown here so if you take uh, phi c uh, is the heat carried away by the chip uh, and phi t as the heat carried or heat conducted into the cutting tool and phi w as a heat conducted uh, into the workpiece. So if we take this one as uh, so to energy balance. Uh, so this is the input energy that is pm. So the mode energy which we are supplying for a motor. So this is distributed into phi c, phi m and phi t. So where phi c is a, as I discussed in previous slide, it's a rate of tra heat transportation by chip, rate of heat conduction into the workpiece and uh, rate of heat conduction into the tool. So the plot uh, which we have obtained in the previous uh, slide, it is for uh, cutting speed of uh, 0.38 uh, meter per second, width of uh, 6.35 mm and rake angle of uh, 30 degree uh, and the workpiece temperature of 611 degree centigrade. So, and if I plot this uh, graph, so with respect to uh, cutting speed, so here I will take it as cutting speed meter per minute uh, and this one is the percentage of total heat. So, Y as a percentage of total heat. So, if I plot the graph uh, around it starts from 50 uh, and that is at 0. So this part of the energy is uh, into the chip, in chip that is heat carried away by the chip. So it's roughly at around 80% uh, uh, 
uh, is for it carried away by the chip and then uh, you have uh, heat carried in heat conducted into the tool so it is around uh, roughly around 18 percent and uh, last one so that is heat conduct conducted into the workpiece so this varies this is may vary around uh, two percent of the total heat so this is the heat balance uh, so this is how the temperature is getting distributed uh, across the chip tool and the workpiece so we'll uh, so and uh, temperature uh, distribution varies depending on various factors so like uh, specific heat thermal conductivity of the tool and the workpiece uh, materials which is used in cutting variables and if you are using a cutting fluid what type of cutting fluid is used so based on all this the temperature of a, a temperature distribution varies